Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for Mac users. And in this video, I will show you how to scale a drawing in AutoCAD. Scaling essentially happens later on when we are done with the drawing in the model space or the drawing area, and we wanna put a floor plan or an elevation or any kind of drawing that you have in your project on a paper. From there, we would do the scaling. Right here in the model space, essentially, you should draw your project in real scale. Meaning, if you have a wall that is 10 feet, uh, you need to draw it here as 10 feet long. And then later on, when you are ready to print, we will head to a layout to do the printing. And I'm going to head here to layout 2 to look at uh, to look at my drawing. And on a layout, uh, which is also called a paper space. You can call it a sheet. You can call it a paper. Uh, basically, it, by default, it has this element called viewport. And it's basically this window right here that is showing us uh, what's in the model area so uh, or the drawing area. I'm going to select it uh, using a window selection. And right here, you see it's like a rectangle, and it has an arrow here on it in the middle. And you can see the name of this object by looking on the properties uh, to the right side of the interface right here, you can see that uh, the object that we have selected right now is called a viewport. And basically, the viewport will get a certain scale. So uh, one way to assign a scale to this viewport, which is showing uh, the, this part of the drawing area, is to actually click on this arrow here, and then you will see a list of scales that you can choose from. Right now, I'm going to choose quarter inch scale, which is common for a floor plan. Uh, and based on that, the viewport changed uh, its size to show us this drawing that I have on the drawing area in a quarter inch scale. And as you can see, it's it expands beyond the paper that we have here in the background. So technically, it's not going to fit on this paper. Uh, so I'll just change the paper size uh, here. And to do that, I will do that from the printing window, which I can access by clicking on this uh, plot button here. Or I can type uh, plot on the keyboard and hit the return button, and we will get this window. So here I will just change the printer. Uh, I usually like to always use DWG to PDF. I recommend using this. So you shouldn't have any problems with it. And then here, the paper size, I'm going to click on here. And then I'm going to change to a paper that would fit uh, the floor plan that we have on a quarter inch scale. I'm just going to go and choose arc full bleed uh, size D 36 by 24 inches. Okay. And then uh, let's see what else I want to change here. For now, this is all I want to do. And to apply the settings of the printer and the paper size, we need to click on apply to layout. And then I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to print yet. I just want to do the changes to the paper size. So I will click cancel. And notice what happened now, the, the paper size uh, expanded and now it's 36 by 24 inches. And now it looks like our viewport uh, can fit in this paper. So I will just select it and I would uh, move it pretty much to the center of this paper. All right. So I showed you this was one place where I can resize the viewport uh, to assign it a scale pretty much to change the scale of a drawing. You can also do... Uh, you can also do it in a different way where you double click inside the viewport and that will activate the viewport. Now we, can, we are accessing essentially the model uh, area, the model space or the drawing area. And then here, uh, when you have that activated, uh, uh, you can see it's activated. Again, another indicator that a viewport is active right now is the border is dark. Okay, so when that the viewport is active from the very bottom right, uh, corner right here we have a scale list so from here uh, from this scale list you can click here and then let's say we want to see this drawing on one eighth of an inch uh, scale I will choose that and here we go the viewport pretty much zoomed out to show us this floor plan in one eighth of an inch scale now this is probably too small for this uh, floor plan so I will just bring it back to a quarter inch scale and that's literally the only place uh, you should be using to do the scaling in AutoCAD. You don't need to draw your drawing here on the model. You don't need to use the scale command. The only place again is through a viewport on one of the layouts. And that was it. Mm -hmm.